I realized that I've ranked all the Arkham games on my channel, I realized that I've discussed Batman's Telltale to a pretty large degree, and so I was thinking what other Batman content can I really cover before Gotham Knights comes out? And then it came to me, the most amazing epiphany that I've ever had for this channel. I'm going to rank the LEGO Batman games. I was a huge fan of LEGO Batman and LEGO Batman 2 when I was younger. I was definitely getting to the point where LEGO games were not my bread and butter when the second two installments, LEGO Batman 3 and LEGO DC Supervillains, came out, but I still enjoy them nonetheless. So I went back, I played a bit with each of them, and I'd like to give you guys my ranking for these four titles. But before I get into which one I think is the best, which one I think is my least favorite, I want to break each one down just in case anyone here hasn't played them. So LEGO Batman launched first in 2008. It was unlike any Batman game that we'd ever seen before, both in being so family friendly, but also in really dipping into Batman's rogues and really showing us just how expansive his world can be, giving us a lot of locations to explore, though it was not an open world. The way that this game is broken up is you play as Batman and Robin, and each level has you going up against a different supervillain. The level opens with it giving you a case file report on the supervillain, you learn a little bit about their origin and their motivation. And as a kid, this gave me a lot of experience in learning about Batman's mythology, and it got me interested in the rogues that I hadn't seen in the films yet even, and it made me want to learn more about them and really get reading the comics. Now once you've gone through and you've defeated all the villains as Batman and Robin, then you can go and you actually get to play through similar levels as the villains. You get to set up the level that Batman and Robin will then go and shut down. You'll get to try and execute a master evil plan, though it won't come to fruition because you've played through the levels already where Batman and Robin take out your operation, but it's fun nonetheless. And it's a refreshing change of pace because Batman and Robin do play really well here, but they also are just the same two characters over and over again. And though it does feel satisfying to take down these criminals one by one and see the variety in boss battles and locations between the villains, it then does create a lot more fun when you go in and get to play with the supervillain superpowers and it feels really diverse between the characters that you get to play as when you play as scarecrow you get to press a button and scare your enemies if you play as poison ivy you get to kill them with poisonous kisses it really just feels quite varied really fun i remember having fun even though it's so limited as a kid you know you have endless imagination i remember the mind control ability where you can mind control characters as the riddler was really fun to me and a really unique gameplay mechanic there are still things about the first lego batman game that i just think were never quite outdone i think that this game has the best level design out of any of them still to this day but lego batman 2 did something really interesting it really changed LEGO games across the board with two major changes. The first was an open world Gotham City that you could explore, and the second was voice acting. Now the voice acting I'm not super keen on, I think there was something really charming and nostalgic about having the story told through grunts. With that being said, I understand that Traveler's Tales was starting to try to tell more complex stories, even in LEGO form, and LEGO Batman 2 certainly does take it up a notch in terms of a cohesive story. I do miss the simplicity of that first LEGO Batman game, but I do think that for a more complex narrative, LEGO Batman 2 definitely hits the mark. It introduces Justice League characters, which add even more variety to the gameplay, which is really fun to play as. Though I will say that it then did seem to start wearing thin when it came to the supervillains like Scarecrow and Mr. Freeze. They still had those iconic abilities that you saw in that first game, but they didn't feel like they carried as much significance or value. I also think that the level design suffered, and it is understandable that the resources and the time and attention really went to the open world, and it feels really cool. I think it's the best open world out of any LEGO game to this day, and I really feel that they gave it the time and dedication that it needed and deserved, and it feels like so much love and care was put into that open world. I also liked how the supervillains this time were in the city. You could go have little mini boss fights with them. You'd find them and then fight them, and then you could purchase them if you had enough studs to play as. I did miss getting to play through levels dedicated to the villains, but I think that's a small price to pay in terms of having an open world to explore. LEGO Batman 3 is where I honestly think the quality dips off a lot in this series. It's a game where the Justice League goes and fights a cosmic threat. It's centered a lot around the Green Lanterns, which I thought was cool, and it was cool to see more of the worlds in the DC universe, get to go visit more areas, 
and I thought that a lot of the characters that they chose for the roster were really great. There's a lot of great playable characters in this game. It's just a shame that there isn't really a great dedicated open world to explore in this game, and also I felt that the story here started getting a little bit too off the wall for me. I understand that cosmic threats are something that the Justice League handle, and it is something that was original for the LEGO Batman IP. With that being said, I missed some of those more familiar and classic elements, and it started to feel like a stretch to even call this LEGO Batman at this point. It should have just been LEGO Justice League, and that would have been fine. It's fine that it's LEGO Batman and still centered around Batman to a degree. Again, it just definitely felt like they were potentially tiring of trying to keep it centered on Batman and were ready to move on to something different. LEGO Batman 3 to me just feels like a culmination of not really knowing what the game wanted to be, and so it feels like a variety of various games kind of mixed into one without committing to being a single game. LEGO DC Super Villains brings back playing as the villains. It does ditch getting to play as the heroes through most of the story, but getting to play as the super villains was a lot of fun. You actually get to kick off the story by creating your own super villain in the DC universe, and I think especially for kids, that's a great way to make them feel involved in the DC universe. This one definitely looks the best as it's the newest. It also brings back open worlds that combine Gotham and Metropolis, and it works well enough. I don't think either one matches how good Gotham City was in LEGO Batman 2, but with that being said, it works well enough. It is fun to get to see the care that was put into both of these locations in the open world. I do think that the level design feels better here as well. LEGO DC Super Villains in a lot of ways feels like a good mixture of everything that came before it. The voice acting here also takes a step up just because they hired iconic voice actors such as Kevin Conroy and Mark Hamill to play Batman and Joker respectively, and then there's a lot of other very iconic voice actors who joined the cast this time around that weren't really voicing the roles in the previous LEGO Batman games. I also felt that a lot of the abilities that had been watered down a bit for the supervillains came back here. They did a good job really focusing on the supervillains here. Again, I don't necessarily think that this was the easiest story to connect with, and I feel like it left a lot of the simplicity behind, and I do feel that simplicity is key in LEGO games, but this one feels really complex narratively. It's really not. It's still a pretty simple story, but just the amount of characters that it introduces, and for good reason, it wants you to have a lot of playable characters. I would just argue that it started leaving behind the story elements that I am interested in when I play a Batman game, and sort of the feel of a Batman game for a more dynamic LEGO playable character's experience in an open world, which is fine. LEGO does that great. They've done it great in LEGO Marvel, they've done it great with Lord of the Rings, they've done it great with Batman in LEGO Batman 2, and to a degree in LEGO DC Super Villains as well. So I do feel that each of these games has their merits and things that they did well. In terms of ranking them, I think the very bottom I would put LEGO Batman 3 for obvious reasons. Again, nothing about that game quite spoke to me like the other games did. I don't think it's horrible or unplayable or anything like that, it just isn't one that I necessarily care to revisit because there's nothing about it that really feels like it warrants another visit from me personally. Next up I would put LEGO DC Super Villains. This game is a good combination of what works well in LEGO Batman and LEGO Batman 2, but I don't know that it necessarily reaches the heights of either of them. So while I do feel that it is a good middle ground and maybe the most balanced experience, I don't feel that I can put it higher on the list, unfortunately. But all of these games, including LEGO Batman 3, I would argue are worth at least a look. I think that all of them have great merit, and I think that especially once we've gotten past LEGO Batman 3 and are talking about the other three games, I feel that they are definitely worth your time if you are a DC fan, if you're a Batman fan, if you're a LEGO fan. I think that these are all very well-made games. So getting into number two, I'd actually put the first LEGO Batman game. And there are many things that I think this game does the best out of any of them. I think the level design, I think that really introducing the players to the simplicity, but also really nuanced world of Batman, it works very well. It got me really invested in the character of Batman when I was very young. It's one of those defining pieces of media that made me the Batman fan that I am today, so I will be forever grateful for it. Again, I think the level design is the real hero of LEGO Batman, the video game. But LEGO Batman 2 I'm going to put at the top primarily for the open world, but also for the balanced Justice League experience. I think that it does a great job 
both in terms of being a Lego Batman experience, but again, starting to envelop Batman in a Justice League and starting to get him to team up with other characters. It's something where at the time I remember the Avengers kind of being a big thing and the MCU really getting going. And so to have a game that showed DC doing the same thing made me think about the possibilities of what it would look like when a live action Justice League showed up on screen. It just filled me with even more excitement and imagination in the DC universe than I'd felt previously. It was another piece of defining content in Batman and overall DC lore that really developed my appreciation for the content. I also think that it had a really balanced number of Batman characters and villains for you to take on, and the story was kind of hit or miss for me between levels, but for the most part, it all just feels really well balanced and really well detailed, and I think that Lego and Traveler's Tales made a huge swing with Lego Batman 2 and knocked the ball right out of the park. I think all of these games, again, are worth a look. If you're a fan of Batman and DC, there's a lot of really great lore that it touches on, and it's in a comedic, family-friendly way. If your kids, for example, are wanting to play the Arkham games but are too young, set them up with Lego Batman. I think they'll have a blast. But those are my thoughts. I know this is very off-brand for my channel, but I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and we will see you guys in the next one.